How proud of you of your heritage of being Chinese American? Um, I think it's freaking amazing. <laughs> um, I, for me, it's, I don't see, I've seen a lot of Asian wrestlers. Like, I've seen, like if you watch Strong Style and Japanese Style Wrestling, it's, there's a lot of them. And they're amazing. And I didn't really get introduced to that until later on in my wrestling career. Um, but when I first started out, I really was the only person that, like, wrestled that looked like me. Like, that I, didn't, I couldn't find anyone else that looked like me, let alone, like, having another woman wrestler that was, like, so difficult. So not only being Chinese for me is being different from everybody else, but being a Chinese-American woman is, like, almost unheard of. And there are a lot of Asian-Americans or Asian women um, who were wrestlers back in the day and like you know didn't get as far as they should have been or could have been because of all of the stereotypes and all of the um you know backlash that they got because they weren't you know the stereotypical person that they were looking for as far as a woman wrestler but um i think i bring something different from the table and i'm so proud to be able to represent uh chinese americans out there would a goal for you to be to wrestle in china someday Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've been to China one time in my life. Um, I went to Hong Kong as well. And it's beautiful over there. I, I wish I had the opportunity. And if I do get the opportunity, I'm definitely going to be there. Karen, you were quite the athlete growing up from what I've read. You were involved in gymnastics. You also played volleyball. You were also diving. What was it like for you growing up and getting involved in sports? Oh, <laughs> I was always active. Um, Ever since I was like five years old, man, I was always in gymnastics class, and then I took tennis lessons. And I, my mom always just wanted me to be as athletic as possible, kind of keep myself busy because I was always jumping around the house. Um, I used to watch a lot of wrestling as a kid with my brother, and we would just do like all those wrestling moves that we weren't supposed to do. And I guess my mom just wanted to put all that energy somewhere else. So from childhood all the way till college, I was just always in some type of sport to keep myself busy and um, just so that I can, you know, be physically active. Like if you don't know me, I'm a phys ed teacher and I think, you know, being physically fit and being physical, physically active is really important. And um, a lot of people aren't. So I would like recommend trying to get your kids involved in something when they're young so that they can at least, you know, stay in shape and live a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, so many of the couch potatoes playing the video games on the computer. You can get into that, <laughs> fall into that trap. But for you, exactly. you you spent a lot of time in gymnastics. I'm wondering, did you have aspirations when you were younger of the Olympics in gymnastics? Oh, absolutely. I, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I'm going to the Olympics. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, like to be realistic, it's very rare for a person to go to school full time. Um, I lived in New York City, so we did. We I was always raised in a, like a public school area, so it was so hard to keep track of, you know, being like getting my schoolwork done and going to practice. I would go to practice Monday through Friday for four hours straight, and. Um, a lot of Olympians now, that's not, that's like barely, that's like half of their practice. I have seen people get homeschooled and, you know, really put their 100%, like their whole family gets involved and have to make sacrifices to do that. And my mom always thought that my academics came first and then athletics afterwards. So I had to make sure that when I was in public school, I had to get all my work done and then I can go to practice. You ended up diving in college, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> so where did you go to college, and how good of a diver were you? <laughs> uh, funny story. Um, I went to Queens College, which is um, a city university in New York City, and um, I had I I'm barely a swimmer, so diving was something that I would have never thought I would even try to do because I would have to submerge myself underneath water <laughs> in deep deep water. Um, but my my colleague, well, actually my my um, my friend at the time who was in college with me, my classmate, she was technically the coach at Queens College, uh, the diving coach, and that was her first year doing it. And she knew that I had a gymnastics background. They didn't recruit anyone for diving, and.
and she told me, here is a thousand dollars for tuition and you are officially on the dining team without even a real consent type of format. Like she just said, you're on the diving team and didn't take no for an answer. So my first time going to dive, diving board was pretty scary just to get on the board and jump in. Um, I had so much green water in my nose. It was, <laughs> it was a disaster. Um, but throughout the season, it was a really long season, and um, I incorporated my gymnastics in it. I just had to figure out the approach, and um, it didn't take too long to figure out how to go head in first, because I'm so used to landing on my feet in gymnastics, going head in first into the water, and then swimming my way back up. Um, but I won actually a few meets, surprisingly, and uh, didn't, wasn't, wasn't too bad at it. <laughs> Karen, that's amazing. You mean you did not really do any diving prior to that. You go to college, you start diving, and because of your experience with gymnastics, you're able to pull this off. Yeah, pretty much. It was, it was so random, too, and um, I don't know. I just, I guess at that time, I wasn't doing any real sports. I, I, I stopped volleyball because I wanted to focus on my studies, and then my friend just really wanted me to be in the team, and I just figured, hey, it's a new sport, uh, I'll give it a go, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Did any of your experiences in sport help you when you transitioned to pro wrestling, and even your experience diving, because it was something you had never done before, did that also, is this something where you're a quick learner? Uh, I guess you can say that. Um, definitely all of my um, athletic background has definitely helped me in my wrestling career. Um, I remember my first day, uh, they all looked at me um, in the gym and kind of like, not to say doubt me, but they're just like, oh, who's this girl coming in just randomly? Like, doesn't look like she knows anything about wrestling and just wants to walk in here. And they told me to do rolls, and I just rolled. And it was the most quiet and subtle roll, and all like, borderline perfect and when my trainer came up to me he's like that role is perfect and he's like do another one <laughs> so I just kept doing roles and it, that it was that was like gymnastics 101 right there and I thought that I was like oh this is going to be a really easy transition and then when I started to get better um you know diving definitely came into the sport of you know diving from a high height so if I ever want to jump off the top rope even though it's not always the best idea for me but when I do um at least there's a there's a slight less fear of jumping off and hopefully landing on somebody. <laughs> did you ever think of calling yourself the natural Karen Q? I did not, but I might use that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a great story you just told. And it's just uh, what you were able to go through. It's, that's that's um, unbelievable, but that's great. So did you finish, Karen, did you finish college and get a degree in college? Yes, I did. I got my bachelor's in um, physical education, and then after that, I got my master's two years later in health education. So um, I just couldn't stop studying. <laughs> it was just six years of college, and just got go straight into it, and um, you know, hopefully, be done with it. <laughs> well, then, when you're done with college, you end up teaching, but then you also start getting involved in pro wrestling, correct? So how did that come about for you? What's the little backstory there going Karen Q, the teacher, to Karen Q, the pro wrestler? <laughs> well, at first, um, after I graduated college, um, I was still, I was hanging out with friends and I just flipped the channel and I saw wrestling and I thought to myself, I was like, whoa, this is really cool. I haven't watched this in a really long time. And um, when I started watching it, pretty much religiously on TV, I I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see if I could do it or not, because um, I saw the women wrestlers on TV, and I was like, hey, I can definitely do that. And um, and that's kind of what I just did. I just I just saw it, I just saw it on TV, and I said, hey, I think I could do this. <laughs> and so um, eventually I just ro enrolled in the school, and um, I just started training, and I, caught on as we spoke earlier that just caught on real quick with it um i was still working my full-time teaching job while training while getting my master's degree i was literally driving to four different um four, four different boroughs a 
day to get my master's degree, to get um, my wrestling training in, to get my part-time job work in, to get my full-time job work in. I also coach gymnastic on the side, so I was just a busy bee. Um, I, I really don't like being lazy at home. Like, if I'm ever at home uh, w- without a purpose, I get really upset, and I think that's kind of the reason why I'm a workaholic. And that's kind of what led me to... Um, just chasing the dream of being um, a professional wrestler and being the best that I can be because I'm just, I'm never tired. I'm just always hungry to, to do more. Well, Karen, you found a great school because Johnny Rods has an excellent reputation. Did you know about that going in or you found that out later? I actually did some research, research on Google and I was looking for the closest school to me. And Johnny Rods was the first one that popped up, and I just showed up. And, you know, Johnny gave me his uh, his usual lecture. Well, when I first started, he gave me a lecture, and I didn't know that that was the usual thing. But he just talked and talked and talked and just gave me as much knowledge as I could. And um, after a while, I started also training with Damian Adams in uh, Team Madison Academy in New Jersey, which I also learned different stuff. And I, I just know that for myself, I can't be somewhere for too long sometimes because then your learning stops. And I know that for me to progress in wrestling, I had my basics very well at Johnny's school. And um, I knew that I needed more than that to get myself known and to be seen in the independent scene and Damien Adams definitely helped me out with that as far as ring psychology, as far as um, working in the independent circuit and um, fixing, getting a real um, character, a real look and being the best wrestler that I can be. Karen, you are still teaching, is that true? Yes, I am. Welcome Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock. There's just no, no stopping. What do the kids think about Karen Q, my teacher, is also a pro wrestler? Well, the thing is, they don't know that I'm a wrestler. I think maybe once they didn't know if they really researched me on Google, but a lot of the, if you think about it, when you're an elementary school student, you don't really think, like, they see me as Miss You, and when they see me as the teacher, they, they think I live in the in the gymnasium. They think that I live in the school. They don't see, they don't see me outside of the building, so I doubt they have any idea that they know that I'm a, a professional wrestler, and I would like to keep that a secret so that one day if I do make it in the big leagues and, you know, really make a big name and make it into a full-time position as a professional wrestler, I'd love to surprise them. <laughs> George the Animal Steel and Spike Dudley are two that come to mind that were in teaching and tried to their best to keep it quiet until they exploded and then all of a sudden they're the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, I know. make sure that everything that I do as far as wrestling doesn't interfere with work and 